Welcome back everyone, today I'm going to showing you how to create this really nice image gallery in React. This is the final project and as you can see when I click this image, it will open that inside the, I call that light box because we use package called yet another React light box. So when I click that, it will open that like so and in here we have ability to next to slide the image. And also we have the zoom in and zoom out right here. We have the full screen and also the toggle caption. We have the title in the left and the description on the bottom right here. And also we can close that. And yep, we have this thumbnail also right here. This is pretty cool package that you can use for your React application if you want to create image gallery. So without any further ado, let's jump into the VS Code. So the first thing what I want to do is let's generate direct application. I'm going to use feed so we can say npm create feed at lettuce. And for the application name, I want to say gallery uh, images like so. And also I'm going to use template react-typescript. Hit enter. And also, yep, let's see it into the gallery images. And in here we can say npm install to install all the dependency. Great, it's done. So now let's open that into Visual Studio Code. So now let's open the terminal. Let's say npm run dev. It will open localhost 5174. And this is what we have. And let's uh let's do like so. And I'm going to open the app.tsx. Let's remove all the content in here. Let's make it a little bit bigger so you can see. Let's remove all of this. Let's just say H1, let's say app. And I'm gonna remove all this styling here. We don't really need that. And app CSS, remove all the content or maybe just delete the file. Doesn't really matter. And also the styling, I'm going to remove all the style. So now what we have is just app. Nice. So the first thing is, let's go to the package that we need to use which is this package here yet another react like box and how to install that scroll down and this is what we need so let's just copy that and paste that right here npm install yet another react like box great it's done let's do npm run dev again and how that we can use it so here i'm gonna use uh, let's use react fragment and also inside in here i'm going to render a button first so let's do button and in here i'm gonna say open let's do open like box all right so let's save and let's see what we have let's take a look we have this button when i click nothing really happened so now let's render the light box package so let's see how we can use that scene so here. Um, yeah, we need to import that. So down here, I'm going to say light box like so self closing tag. And inside in here, I'm going to do, let's say open set equals to, and I'm going to say open. This open is going to become from the state. So let's create the open first. So here I'm going to create state call let's do open and the open it should be boolean not blob but boolean boolean and also the default value it should be false like that and also we need to import the use state like so nice and as you can see the open is um oh yeah that's because the open here use uppercase let's remove that and we are going to use this lowercase open nice so now when i click this button i want to open the light box so we can say on click when i click that i want to say set open into true let's do that let's take a look what we have so let's go back here open light box nothing really happened so here we need to put the slide which is the list of the image so now I just want to copy and paste my list of the image. And also you can just copy and paste from the link in the description. So inside a source, I'm going to create a file called data.ts. 
and I'm going to paste that right here. So what the hell is this? So this is basically array of an object. We have source, title, and description. The type, the source here, it should be come from the Unsplash uh, website. So let's open the Unsplash and see how I get the URL. So basically what I'm doing is just click that here and just copy the image address and I'm put the source in here and it can be the local file so you can put the file on the asset here or whatever you want and you can just put the source in here your local image file all right so let's go back here and what we need to do here is very simple we can say slides set equals to slides come from the data right here well, where is that right here all right so let's take a look now go back here refresh and when i click open light box as you can see now we have all the images here but as you can see here we don't have the nice styling because we don't yet import the style so let's go back to the documentation and see we need to import this style.css here so let's copy that and go back to aptsx and we need to put that in here just like so and see what we have magic will be happen so when i click open light box and as you can see we have this next and previews button and we have this really nice light really cool by default so let's go back here and also in this light box we have on close function so let's do on close or maybe close yeah the name is close and when i click close the button which is the x button right here i want to set the open into false just like so now let's try close open close working and then what we can do is we, we can add a caption for example in this data.ts we have the title and description so here in the light box as you can see on the documentation let's see here the plugins inside this plugin we have a couple things we have caption counter download full screen inline and etc so first let's open the caption and see how we can use it as you can see uh, let's open the live demo here so you can see what i mean so this is the caption basically the title and the description right here so we can add that really simple so we can just need to add plugin and caption like so so let's go back and see what we have here we can say plugins and then i'm gonna put array and in here i'm gonna say caption just like so the caption should become from the yet another react like box slash plugins but we need to also import the style the caption style so let's go back and paste that right here let's see what we have so i'm gonna open the light box and as you can see in the top here we have the title and the bottom here we have the description you can also put the description into the center or into the right side so how do we do that so in here we can say caption we can say caption set equals to an object and in here we can say show toggle to true and also the wait what i'm doing to true and also the description text align i'm gonna put that into the end so now by doing this show toggle and description text align to end so you can see now on the top here we have the toggle caption when i click on that the title will gone pretty cool and also the description now is on the bottom right side which is on the end here we can also add another plugin for example the counter here if you want it will showing the counter of the image as you can see here one then 51 image as you can see the counter and also we can add the download button if user click the download it will download the file so let's try to use the download so inside the plugin here i'm going to add download like so and let's take a look here i think you don't need to import the styling 
So let's go back here and see. As you can see, we have this download button. Let's try to download this one. I'm going to click download and it will be download the file as you can see here. So I can open that like so. Nice. So next thing is we can also add the full screen. So let's go back as you can see here, the full screen. To add that, it's also pretty simple. We need to just add the plugin and then full screen. Just simple as that. So here we can say full full screen like so. Just make sure you import the full screen, come from the package and then slash plugins. So let's go back and see what we have. We have the, as you can see, the full screen button in here. Really, really cool. And also we have the zoom plugins, so we can do that as well. So here we can say zoom. We can do zoom like so and see what we have. As you can see, we have this button zoom. When I click, it will zoom the image. When I click this, it will zoom out the image. Really nice. We also have the, I believe it's called, um, let's see here, thumbnails. Yep. The thumbnails is also pretty cool. So let's go back here and we can add thumbnails. So let's do thumbnails, save and see what we have. Um, oh, <laughs> it looked terrible because I think we don't yet import the styling. Yep, the thumbnail. Thumbnail have a style. So let's copy that and paste that right here and save. Let's take a look. As you can see, now the thumbnail is on the bottom and it really cool. But the next thing is we are going to create the grid of the image. When I click the image, it will open the light box like this. Let's first create the images file. So in here I can say images.tsx and I can do RFCE. Let's remove the react up here and let's render the images on here. So let's say images like so and now we have this open light box and also the images so let's go back to images and in here what we need to do is uh i think we are gonna grab the data so we're gonna grab the props here and because we're using type script we can add interface in here and the interface i'm gonna give a name images props set into i want to say data and then this data have a source it should be string and also have title it should be string and also have description description it's also string like so and we are going to send that as an array and also here we have the on click event so let's do on click and this on click here is basically a function that returning void just like so and now uh, we are going to put the image props inside this images component so we can put functional component and then i'm going to put the images props in here just like so let's go back to app and here we are going to send the data data set it equals to and I'm going to put the slides and also we need to send the on click function for now to say empty function like so let's go back to images and here what we need to do is first I'm going to destructuring the props so you can say cons I grab the data and on click come from the props like so and in here I'm going to returning diff with class name images container like so and inside this diff I'm going to map through the data we can say data dot and I'm gonna say map we grab the individual slide should be inside in here we grab the individual slide and also we grab the index like so and in here I'm going to return another diff and inside this diff, I'm going to return image with source, like so. Wait, it's not working now. Source. I don't know, but let's do image 
and then the source it should be come from slide dot source and the alt i'm gonna put the description so i can say slide dot description like so let's save and let's take a look what we have as you can see we have the images here there's a lot of image and then the next thing is i'm going to put the key first here so let's do key in equals to index and also inside this div here i'm going to add class name call let's do image for individual image all right nice so now let's go back to index.css and let's just a little bit styling the image in here so i can grab the image container and the image container it should be have the maximal width into 1200 pixel and also the margin i'm gonna put that into the center so i can say margin wait let's say margin zero or maybe two ram top and bottom and auto left and right so let's save let's take a look what we have uh, nothing really happened because we don't yet styling the individual image so we can say we grab the image class and image tag and i'm gonna say width into a hundred percent and also the hake into let's do a hundred percent as well so let's save and see what we have nice so now let's go back here and i'm going to add a display to grid i think i believe we zoom in right here i'm going to zoom out here we go so now you can see the maximal width which is a thousand two hundred pixel nice so here i'm gonna say display grid and then grid template columns into i'm gonna use repeat and then i'm gonna use auto fit to make it responsive and let's say min max the minimal value i'm gonna say 5d ram and also the maximal which is one one fraction which is a uh, hundred width on the mobile so as you can see now when i change that to the mobile version i'm not sure wait we cannot click this oh, i don't know so let's do as you can see this really nice and also i'm going to add the gap here so let's go back to the code and for the gap i'm going to use one ram let's take a look really really nice and also i'm going to add the hake so let's do image class and in here i'm gonna say width into a hundred let's do width into a hundred percent and also the hake i'm gonna set that to 20 ram and also when i hover that i'm going to add the cursor to pointer just like so and here we go but as you can see the image is a little bit look weird here and to fix that it's also pretty simple in the image tag we can say object fit into cover and let's add the border radius to make it a little bit more nice 8 pixel nice as you can see that's really cool but when i click that nothing really happened so let's go back to the app.tsx and the first thing is i'm going to remove the button just comment that out and i want to now when i click this image it will open the light box so let's try to go back here and what we need to do and in here remember we send the on click button so this on click we need to fire that when this div is on click so first thing is i'm going to create a function called handle click image handle click image set equals to error function and in here i want to run the on click and send the index so first thing is inside the, this div here i'm going to add on click event on click like so and then when i click that i want to run the handle click image and i'm going to send the index like so and of course we grab the index in here the index is should be number and now we can put the index in here just like so and inside this interface we can specify this should be have a parameter index and the index it should be number just like so all right so let's go back to app and in here what i'm gonna do is for now 
I just want to console log so you can see the value. So let's say console log. And here I'm going to grab the current index, which is the index that we send on these images here. So we can grab that in here. So I'm going to use current index, current, inde current index name. It doesn't really matter the name, but I'm going to use current index. So let's console log the current index. Let's go back here. Let's open the inspect and go to console and see what we have. When I click this first index, of course, we get 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. Nice. We successfully grabbed the index. So now, remember, we have this open, right? So now I want to, uh, let's first remove, not remove, just comment that out. And I'm going to create another state called index now. And with index, and this index, it should be number and the default value i'm going to put minus one like so and then this open here i'm going to comment that out and also this close i'm going to comment that so i can say open set equals to when the index is more than equal to zero that mean when i click this first index which is zero it will open the light box nice and also i'm going to add the close this close here it should be half function and this function it will set the index back to minus one okay so now let's try to click this oh, as you can see when i click that it will open the light box oh nothing really happened let's try to see what i'm doing wrong yeah, that is because on the on click here, we don't really set the index to number, any number in here because we just console log that. So let's remove the console log and we can say set index into current index. So now when I click that, as you can see, we open the light box. But as you can see, when I click this, for example, these people on the C here, when I click on that, it still open the index zero. We don't need that. So let's go back here. And there's a couple things that we need to change. Um, basically, we need to just put the index in here. Let's do index set equals to index. Come from the state here. And now it will working. So let's try. I'm going to open this cake here. Let's open that and boom. It opened the cake. Really cool. Let's close that. And I'm going to click this one. It opened that. Really nice. As you can see, it's really cool. So yeah, hopefully this video helpful and I hope you can implement this really nice package in your React project. So thank you so much for watching guys and see you on the next one.